<laughs> hey, what's up, friends? So now the thing is, I'm an idiot. I spent the entire time recording and I didn't turn my mic on. It was there. I was speaking into it. it wasn't on. So what I'm doing right now is uh, messy hair and all. Yeah, it's bedhead right there. I woke up. I was like, oh, I got to fix these videos. Okay, so what we're doing today, we're playing with fire. And uh, you might notice that I have a guitar here. And I'm going to play you Ring of Fire the whole time. I'm not going to do that. Except what if I did? That wasn't it. Anyway, um, yeah, so what we're doing here, we're taking uh, four tiles and we're going to put alcohol on each one of them. And we all know that alcohol kind of, uh, you know, catches fire. So we're taking alcohol ink right here and um, I'm going to cover the whole thing in it. But uh, get ready for a blooper because a blooper is coming up here. Probably within the next 15 20 seconds. Yeah. Oh, it's coming. Oh, here it goes. Okay, so notice on the bottom left-hand corner of this tile, um, stuff is falling onto the table. And I was going to edit this out, but look, at this. this is ridiculous. Check this out. So, okay, so let's light stuff on fire. Here's the torch. Doing torchy stuff. Boom. And now my plastic's catching on fire. So what do I do? Blow it out. But I blow out the whole thing. Catching on fire. There it goes, burning again. I catch stuff on fire and my work table <laughs> oh, and finally it goes out and uh, so yeah but it's so much fun to play with fire in your inks and look at how that it um, I don't ever get this texture with with just the uh, just the alcohol links and uh, moving them around, letting it evaporate naturally. So I thought that was kind of fun. Check that out. Um, that was fun. Okay, so we're going to do another one. Um, but he can be taught, folks. He can be taught. So right now we're going to you know, mop up the alcohol that didn't burn off the first time because um, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Well, you just shouldn't try to fool me. <laughs> oh man. So I put less alcohol on and I'm spreading it around with my finger. And <laughs> oh man. You know what? Right now I'm playing it off. I'm playing it off like, yeah, no big deal, whatever. Like, totally not even a thing or whatever. <laughs> but I'm like, oh my gosh, I cannot set my desk on fire, my workbench on fire on YouTube, and everybody's going to know. And like, yeah, that would have been embarrassing. So, so anyway, uh, mopping up the excess, making sure I don't cat melt any more plastic, and let's burn this one. Just felt like that was a good fire thing. Oh yeah. So much fun to see what the fire does and how it how it influences the ink. And so as it as it kind of the fire burns out in that area. I really like how it gives us like some harder edges and it'll even start pushing it around. I don't know if you, you notice that, but it's, and it's kind of giving these multi-layer, um, these multi-layer, um, oh, hey dog, do you guys want to see a dog? 
And so, yeah, totally different video. This is Nyx. Nyx was a rescue puppy. Oh, I know, I know. Um, when we first got him, he had been in a puppy mill and he didn't even know how to walk. And so, um, you know, he grew up and had a normal, um, normal rest of his life, but he's always been kind of awkward ever since. Like, um, he'll look at you like, do you, do you love me? Am I okay? He tries so hard to be a good dog. It's really cute. And so his name is Nix, which is short from Phoenix. So rise from the ashes. And, uh, he didn't even know how to play as a puppy. And, uh, uh, he's just recently figured out how to play and he's 91 years old in human years. Okay, bye, Nix. And so when he had puppies, his, uh, the one that um, his mate would teach the puppies how to play and Nix would be at the edge of the circle and um, he would be watching with his like his paws up near the edge like he wants to play but he just doesn't know how and so I've shown you Winston before that's um, that's my golden retriever I'm not sure which video it is if you want to see him too but anyway um, so recently, Winston's a golden retriever, and golden retrievers can like, oh, I love how the ink moved on that. The fire just pushed it around. Um, so golden retrievers just love to play. They don't even care. And so um, my golden retriever taught Nick's how to play as a 91-year-old, you know, in dog years, not human years. That would be a really old dog. But he finally taught him how to play. Okay. So this last tile is my absolute favorite one. I feel like I kind of got it down. I kind of understood how to do everything. Uh, and what's kind of funny is I just pointed to these these areas. Like you, <laughs> putting my hand over it, the whole thing, the palm, just to see if the fire is still burning. So, um, yeah, that happened. <laughs> oh, guys, guys, some days, some days. Uh, my, one of my favorite sayings is, some days you're the pigeon, some days you're the statue. Well, I'm about as smart as the statue on this one. Um, so when you burn them like this, there's always those like little puddles for some reason that just didn't catch fire. I don't know if it's because I'm using 91% alcohol, so 9% of it is uh, water. Um, I have some 99 that I could have used, but I didn't use it because I didn't really think that there would be other things that wouldn't evaporate. So here's the last one. This one is my favorite. I'm spreading around with the finger so I don't get a whole <laughs> this whole bunch of like extra um, what's it called? Uh, anyway, so here's the white, and I wish I would have done this first. Um, so putting a color drop down and putting white inside the color drop, and then the next color. And I don't know why, I've always been in the habit of recapping my inks every single time I use them. Well, except this one, it's making me out to be a liar. But, um, yeah. And I love what the white does to the texture. Trying to wiggle it a little bit. Uh, didn't do anything, though. But I love the texture that the white gives us. Oh, uh, there you can see it right in the middle right there. And um, yeah, this kind of, I don't know, it reminds me of some sort of nebula or the left side reminds me of an aurora, like the aurora borealis. And uh, anyway, I just love it. So last time torching. Boom. Oh, this is a big one. Nix is coming over here again. He's really cute. All right. And I love the texture. Absolutely love it on all the edges and whatnot. I think it's pretty sweet. So sorry I'm not making eye contact. Keep looking down at the video, looking at me, making sure I don't look like an absolute dork, which I really don't care. I don't know why I'm even looking, but yeah, this one happens to be one of my absolute favorites. And 
That's what I should have used, but I didn't use. I have some 99 green. Okay, next. Seriously? <laughs> oh, he's a good dog. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> he makes these cute little grunting sounds when, when he's really happy. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much the end of this one. I got some paint on closeout, on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And so these heavy body paints, two ounces, it's uh, I got them for $1.50 each. So I went and bought like all of the colors that they had left because they were clearance, fantastic deal. And um, I play with them in the next video. Now I messed up the next video so bad that um, I don't know if I'm gonna use it. So anyway, I'm saying some stuff. I was tempted to make this like a che uh, like a cheesy kung fu movie where you overdub stuff and you completely mess it up, but uh, yeah, I didn't. But anyway, guys, if you wouldn't mind, would you press that like button? Uh, and if you haven't joined us crazies over here, want to reach down and click that subscribe button. When we hit 5,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing a giveaway for a Logitech C920 so that you could start your own channel too. Uh, it's actually the one that uh, that's recording my face on this side right now. Yeah, that'll be yours. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Love y'all. Peace out.